first of all, we're going to start with a little tutorial piece. I'm not going to do the whole thing. It's quite a lot, as you can see. Um, but I'm going to start off how I imported this 3D object. That's sort of the basic thing. And uh, motion tracking, as you can see, those are no layers there. And um, okay, so I used Element 3D to import the object. Uh, Video Copilot is a lifesaver with the Element 3D. Otherwise, we would have had to go into uh, going to uh, 3ds max and then into photoshop and then uh, through into after effects stuff like that uh, it can be it can be you can import objects in there and uh, that's how i imported these objects uh, there so what we've got basically uh, we've got a scene where they are attached to uh, a basic place and where they're attached to is that yeah they're attached to null layers okay so um, we've got um, you know, different null layers and that null layer yeah but they, they stay in the same place and so um, on the new com new composition once you've opened up after effects uh, once you have your footage in drag the footage in then whatever whatever camera tracker you use i recommend using this one in cs6 you click on that I'm not going to do it now because it's going to take some time. Gonna, but then you'll get a little, once it's done, you'll see um, a, a come up here. Then you make the points to 100%. Then you'll see them uh, big dots all over the place. And then you want to click on them, right click, and then you want to add a null layer. Okay? So um, you do that to four points. Okay? So on here, alright? Here are the four points that I made. Okay, and then one of them you want to add, you want to make uh, add null and camera. So that's how you get this this camera thingy, a jiggy. Okay. So um, yeah, you want to do that first, and um, then basically what you need to do is you need to create um, a, a new solid. So new solid. Then what you want to do is you want to uh, you want to first you want to buy Element 3D from uh, Video Copilot. Then you want to uh, add effect Video Copilot Element 3D. Okay. Then you'll get to this. Now, is where you import your object. Now, the object file should be obj. Okay. Uh, or might have a uh, C4D or Element 3D or Cinema 4D. <coughs> uh, what I recommend is you. Well, you can either use. You can even make something in Google SketchUp. You can design something in 3ds Max. Um, I'm not sure if Mudbox do it. Maybe Photoshop. And then you save it as an OBJ file. And you'll be able to open it here. Okay. Now it won't seem 3D at first. So, um, if it's not 3D, that's a, you need, well actually, mine didn't seem 3D at first. You need to make sure that your object that you make is in 3D, otherwise it won't quite work properly. Uh, but you can, this can be used for uh, 2D as well, so it doesn't really matter. So we port the object, add the new environment to it. Once you've set up all the lights and everything to your object, yeah, once you set up all the lights, you know, uh, dramatic, whatever, want to use well, you know that's obviously too dark there um, once you set up all the materials okay and all the environments you click OK I've done all that and then you have your objects and basically then what I did I'm just gonna tell you basically what I did um, I twisted them around a bit, I added an uh, adjustment layer, I believe, I added uh, some lighting to make it look like more atmosphere, okay, and uh, yeah, I added this light, this ground, so I like, applied them to the ground, and that's how the end they sort of start to learn. I mean this is um, does take some time so if you're a beginner uh, I wouldn't recommend going diving into this but 
it's, it's basic steps, you know, it's basic steps where, um, as you, if you have the object, you know, you, um, you put it in, and then you, it's just applying it to no layers, really, so it's not really that complicated, but, uh, what I'm really showing you here is the element 3D side of it, so, um, yeah, multi-sampling, you know, uh, and also use super sampling, which sort of, sort of makes it easier to render, I think. But also, uh, as I'm here, if we go to add to render queue, um, we have, uh, no, I forget that, we have an option to when we're rendering, and the rendering settings, to um, select multi-sampling. You want to do that, so it makes it better. Basically, now I apply some view, some saturation there, some, I mean, uh, color curves, and uh, the final product is on my channel. Moving on from that. Um, aside from all that, also expect. Uh, more update videos, okay, I'm going to make an update right now, um, I've been busy making my, uh, making a script for my film, but instead of that I decided also that I wanted to do a series, so yeah, I'm going to do a series now, so um, it's going to be quite fun to make, uh, it's going to be, you're going to get the idea of Alone at Night and uh, the plot, okay, but this one is in it's on the perspective of the aliens. So it'll be very interesting. It's not we discovering what's on Mars, it's them discovering what's on Earth. And here's a brief for what happens in the first episode, which isn't even filmed yet. Um a guy oh, an alien, disguised as a guy, came down from Earth came down from Mars, and um he's after an object. Now they sent this object down here to see if there's any new life. And Basically, a human have this, has this object, yeah, they know there's human life on it, well they don't know it's human life, but they know it's life on it, it's like we saying alien, they say like oh, humans, um, uh, yeah, they can disguise themselves, so they disguise themselves as one of them came down to earth, they disguise themselves as an alien, uh, as a human, sorry, uh, it's quite late, uh, as a human, and uh, they're after this object, but they're not after the object, they want to sort of meet the humans, and that's sort of what I got up to, so if you have any, any ideas, comment in the comment section. Aside from that, you can also expect short other films separately, just short little pieces.